Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we will be going over 15 facts about the fall of ancient Egypt. But before we start make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. And without further ado let's jump right into it. Number 1. Invasions by the Sea Peoples Around 1200 BC, Egypt faced invasions by the Sea Peoples, a confederation of naval raiders who attacked coastal cities across the Mediterranean. Although Pharaoh Ramses III successfully repelled them, the conflicts weakened Egypt's economy and military. Number 2. The Decline of the New Kingdom The New Kingdom, Egypt's most powerful era, began to decline after the death of Ramses II. Successive pharaohs struggled with internal strife, economic difficulties, and invasions, leading to the eventual breakdown of central authority. Number 3. The Third Intermediate Period Following the New Kingdom, Egypt entered the Third Intermediate Period, 1070-664 BC, marked by political fragmentation and division. Power was divided among competing factions including the priests of Ammonius and Thebes and foreign rulers in the Nile Delta. Number 4. Libyan Rule During the Third Intermediate Period, Egypt was ruled by a series of Libyan origin pharaohs, known as the Libyan Dynasty. Although they tried to stabilize the country, their rule further weakened Egypt's centralized power. Number 5. Nubian Conquest in the 8th century BC, Egypt was conquered by the Nubian kingdom of Kush, which established the 25th dynasty. The Nubian pharaohs, like Pi and Taharqa, ruled Egypt for nearly a century, revitalizing some aspects of Egyptian culture before being driven out by the Assyrians. Number 6. Assyrian Invasion In the 7th century BC, the powerful Assyrian Empire invaded Egypt, defeating the Nubian pharaohs and installing puppet rulers. The Assyrians looted Egyptian temples and cities, further destabilizing the region. Number 7. Persian Conquest In 525 BC, Egypt was conquered by the Persian Empire under Cambyses II, marking the beginning of the First Persian Period. Egypt became a satrapy, province, of the vast Persian Empire, losing much of its autonomy. Number 8. Rebellions Against Persian Rule Egyptians frequently rebelled against Persian rule, longing to restore their independence. While some rebellions were temporarily successful, they were ultimately crushed by Persian forces, who maintained control over Egypt for over a century. Number 9. Alexander the Great's Conquest In 332 BC, Alexander the Great conquered Egypt, ending Persian control. The Egyptians welcomed him as a liberator, and Alexander founded the city of Alexandria, which became a major cultural and intellectual center. Number 10. The Ptolemaic Dynasty After Alexander's death, his general Ptolemy I took control of Egypt and established the Ptolemaic Dynasty, which ruled for nearly 300 years. While the Ptolemies maintained the outward appearance of traditional Egyptian rule, they were of Greek origin and introduced Hellenistic culture to Egypt. Internal Conflicts During the Number 11. Ptolemaic Period The Ptolemaic period was marked by internal strife, including family feuds, power struggles, and economic challenges. These conflicts weakened the dynasty, making it increasingly reliant on Rome for support. Number 12. Roman Intervention Egypt became increasingly entangled in Roman politics, particularly during the reign of Cleopatra VII. Her alliances with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony brought Egypt into direct conflict with Rome, leading to her eventual downfall. Number 13. Battle of Actium The decisive Battle of Actium in 31 BC saw the defeat of Cleopatra VII and Mark Antony by Octavian, later Augustus. This battle marked the end of the Ptolemaic dynasty and the beginning of Roman control over Egypt. Number 14. Egypt as a Roman province. After Cleopatra's defeat and subsequent suicide, Egypt was annexed by Rome and became a province. As a Roman province, Egypt was heavily taxed and exploited for its grain, which was crucial to feeding Rome's population. Number 15. End of Ancient Egyptian Culture. 
Under Roman rule, traditional Egyptian religion and customs gradually declined as Hellenistic and Roman influences took over. By the end of antiquity, much of Egypt's ancient culture had either been absorbed into Roman practices or had disappeared altogether, marking the end of ancient Egypt as a distinct civilization. And that's it for today. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. See you next time.